Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat, and I want to take a minute to talk about electric cars. Did you know that the government had decided that by, like, five years from now or something like that, we were all going to be buying electric cars? At least, uh, somewhere up of, like, uh, 70% of all car purchases would be electric. Were you going to do that? Were you looking at buying an electric car? Was that something that you had in mind? Maybe getting a, an electric cyber truck to do your farm work or, you know, a new Tesla or whatever any of the other electric cars are that are out there to do your long distance trip? I wasn't either. Thanks for sticking with us. As always, this is an unscripted show, so don't don't have too many too high of expectations for uh, what is going to be coming out of my mouth. Again, I, there was a comment somebody left about like I'm six minutes into this video and you still don't know anything. I'm I, okay. I'm going to warn you right now uh, before we get to six minutes. I don't know anything, so if you don't mind, maybe you could share what you know. But uh, I I know a little bit, I guess, about this uh, car situation. So yeah, they had this idea and they were trying to put it into the rules, the laws. I, I don't know if it was laws or if it was, um, you know, just executive orders. But apparently, most of us by five years from now, we're just going to be buying electric cars because they're so much better than gas cars. Um, pollution wise they're, they're trying to cut back on emissions well they've had to scale that back because apparently americans are not so interested in buying electric cars and it doesn't work to just kind of like bully them into it and say well you're gonna buy the electric car that's crazy to me i i never i don't know why i didn't think of it that way when they're trying to like pass these things it's like wow you know who's the government to try and push me in to purchasing something i don't want who are they to try and coerce me into making purchases of any kind you know i'm gonna get what works i'm gonna get what works best for me if the electric car is the best option and then I would be buying it, you know? Right now, I look at it, and, you know, sure, you know, Teslas are really nice-looking cars. They've got uh, that Mustang Mach-E that I at first thought, well, that's kind of cool, except that um, I've heard a lot of bad things about them. I don't know that that's true. If you have one of these Mach-E things, the Mustang Mach-E, and it's awesome, then that's great. But for most people, they look at that and they think of the range. Like, if I'm going to be going on a long road trip, somewhere then I, I really don't want to have to like calculate okay I've got to make it to this place and sit in a while and do the charge thing and then I've got to make it to this place and this place uh, it's nice to know when you have you know a gas vehicle that there are gas stations everywhere I mean maybe if there were those uh, supercharger stations everywhere that'd be one thing except for the weight you know you have to sit and wait with the gas it's like okay I sit there a few minutes and it fills up the tank and then I move along, and that's that's that. There's no sitting, waiting, or worrying. It's just going to work, and it just uh, it's cheaper. So, yeah, to me, you know, the whole uh, electric car thing, it's more of a novelty. If I lived in the city, maybe, I don't know, just uh, ride it around. Like I said, sometimes you look at the Tesla, and you think, oh, that's a pretty cool thing. I, I know there's a lot of electric cars in China. When I was there, you know, a lot of the taxi cars are actually electric now. And you get in and you're like, oh, this is kind of neat. You're sitting in, it's like, you know, riding in an, an iPad or something, an iPhone, something along those lines. Pretty nice, high tech like. I don't know how high tech it actually is. Um, <laughs> I guess they've been building electric stuff. You go to China, people make their own electric vehicles over there. They'll, um, they'll get like a kid or they'll build a frame and they'll make an electric scooter at home. Yeah, people do all kinds of stuff like that over there. So when I see the electric cars in China, I sometimes wonder, like, what's really under the hood? I mean, is it, you know, I, I don't think that it's on the level of Tesla when I'm looking at it. Maybe some of them are. I know the BYD ones are supposed to be pretty nice. But really, what's under the hood, right? Is it really as high tech as a Tesla would be? I have my doubts. In either case, they're not selling the Chinese ones in America. Um, and, but we do have Tesla. We have the best that there is. So I guess that's okay. I don't know about any of the others. I know that there's some other electric vehicle brands. Um, some of the big ma automobile manufacturers have tried to get into the game and they've kind of scaled that back because nobody wanted to buy them. And when they did, there were problems. Wasn't it Ford? They made the, uh, the F-150 
lightning, except it's not like the cool lightning from the past, the one with the supercharger and all that. No, it's a, an electric Ford F-150 that doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work if you try to haul anything. Now, I'm going to pull my boat, and then uh, I, I don't have a boat. But if I did, I know that I wouldn't be able to pull it with that F-150 lightning thing. It, it would kill the thing. All kinds of problems. I don't know if that's because of the chip shortages and those kinds of problems where they weren't able to get the stuff from China. Well, you know, that should be, you know, right there. Like, you're trying to compete with these guys. And, of course, they're going to sabotage your efforts. They're going to make your stuff total crap so that you can't compete with their electric car business. Um, but and there's more news to this. You know, not only is the government scaling back its efforts to force you into buying electric cars, but um, I think that electric car sales in general are quite down. I know Tesla, this was just announced, they are scaling back production in China, which is supposed to be like the biggest place for electric cars there is. But they're scaling back their production in China. I don't know if that's because of sales and stuff, but apparently it's hurt their, their stock as they've uh, pulled back over there. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really say. But uh, factory workers in Shanghai were told to scale back production. I see. It's because of growth concerns in the EV market. So as I said, you know, people are just not that interested in buying these cars. Not like what people were, well, you know, it, it comes back to that. They were trying to push everybody into it. They're trying to say, like, you have to. By this year, that's all that's going to be available. So you're going to have to buy the electric car. And I guess everybody's like, nah, I don't think so. I don't want to. I can't afford it for one thing. And I don't have the charging station, all of that stuff, you know. So, yeah, the uh, the electric car thing and the emissions stuff, they've had to push it back. <laughs> What's going to happen going forward? You know, Donald Trump is going to get in there. And uh, maybe that, you remember the bloodbath thing for the automobile industry. Maybe that's not coming after all. Maybe uh, Donald Trump will get in there and will avoid the bloodbath and they'll be able to continue making internal combustion engine vehicles or maybe they'll come up with some new technology. See, that's the thing, you know, technology is typically driven by consumers, what people want to buy. If you can make a good electric car that, you know, can meet all the demands of a consumer and what we need, then I think people will buy it. They'll be happy to buy it. But right now, it just, you know, Tesla's the best you've got. Anyway, I better leave it at that. Hopefully you guys uh, found something useful in that. If you have something to add, of course, let us know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>